Hey guys, today let's check out an add-on inside Adobe Express that we're already familiar with, and that is Visla. First, I'm going to create a blank template. In this case, let's go ahead and create a video. As you can see, there are a lot of templates you can work with. You can drop your media here, but I'm gonna go into add-ons and here I'm gonna look for Visla, right here. If you're using it for the first time, you will have to log in and install this add-on. That takes two seconds. Once you've done that, let me walk you through this interface. Here you can create a video simply by inputting a script. You can see the list of all of your history right here because I have previously created a lot of content with Visla. That's why they're there. Under video creation, like I mentioned, you can enter script, but you can also choose the ratio of the video you want to create. It's lovely to see so many options there, especially for social media, including YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels. It helps to have vertical videos. And you can choose the pace of the video. Is it fast, medium, or slow? Next, we have burn subtitles. Now, that's very helpful because Visla automatically generates subtitles or captions. You can burn that into your video itself. But if you choose not to, if you prefer, let's say a different software or simply want to keep your video without captions, that's absolutely okay too. Under footage options, depending on your account and subscription with Visla, I now have a paid option, which means that I have access to the premium stocks, for example, from Storyblocks as well as Getty. I also can use my private stocks. Even if you're on the free account, you can still use your private stock. So what does private stocks mean? They mean the videos that you capture for your brand, as well as yourself. You can walk around outside your home or you know, simply creating B-roll for your videos, for example, on YouTube, but it can also be product videos and client interviews, however you see fit. I have a separate video tutorial as well as article to talk about private stocks. Now you can use free stocks free of charge, and those are available and quite high quality. Here you can also enter what's called stock footage tags. These tags will give a better idea of what you're trying to create. These are optional, but it can help you further refine the content that are being selected. Let's keep scrolling down. Here you can see the options of using free stocks and premium stocks. If you are happy with this video itself, what you can do and just click on that, it will actually get transferred into your Adobe Express workspace. Previously, I talked about using a 16 by nine. Now I can resize this page very easily here. Let's go ahead and choose Instagram Reel. And I can just click on resize and look. Now it's the right ratio. All I have to do is basically match this corner here. If you want to apply really light edits, you can directly use the video editing feature inside Adobe Express. Some of you may be wondering, what is the point of using Visla, this add-on inside of Adobe Express? The truth is you can use Visla on its own, but marrying the two is, it's like this new design slash tech terminology, which is composability. By combining the two apps will actually make your content shine even more. So let me give you some specific examples, especially if you're not as familiar with either one of these apps. Once you create a Visla video, you can simply click on the video. It will automatically add the video directly inside this template. Let's say that I can resize this video as I see fit. For example, I can go back to Adobe Express, leveraging their brand kit. I have created one for Phase World. So have I done this with other clients? I can upload additional assets if I choose to. I can explore a lot of these templates. Right now, knowing this is a vertical asset, it's defaulting on Instagram stories, but you can choose other templates related to YouTube shorts. For example, if I'm able to just drop in this little template here. Now, when I click on the video again, I'm essentially adding the video just got generated by Visla directly into Adobe Express. And now this video is added as a scene. I can crop this video, move things around, and redesign this background as well. There are other things worth mentioning. In addition to templates, there are different layouts, seasonal templates, trends going on. Now, remember working inside Adobe Express also means that you have access to their 
endless media assets that includes photos, videos, and even audio. After using many of these online design tools, Adobe's stock imagery and videos are of the highest quality. Next, you can play with their text layout. I would say that as much as I love Visla, this is the area where I feel like I can use some extra help. These text layouts are super flexible. You can even have special effects and animations. I won't go into each and every one of these in greater details. Things like elements and charts and grids are very useful. Last but not least, I should also mention Adobe's AI features such as generating images. This is something you can take advantage of in addition to some of the other more obvious, maybe more frequently used features. So previously, when I was trying to create a video for Adobe Express, specifically for color blindness simulator, I input my script here and I was really curious to see what this look can come up with. And in this case, I've chosen the 9 by 16 vertical format video. I was really intrigued because generally speaking, I'm very comfortable creating landscape, but I really want to see what vertical videos look like generated by this lab. So let's take a look. So to export a video is on the upper right hand corner, but you can also preview it directly. It's about a minute and 20 seconds. So in a recent eye exam, I discovered that I have very good color vision. What it means is that I have heightened sensitivity towards colors in general, making me good at distinguishing color. So now if you want to make any edits, chances are you do, you want some creator control. So you're going to click on edit and you'll be taken back to this page. You'll notice that you're inside the Visla app. Now you want something more sophisticated. What you want to do is make sure you click on this edit button to make sure you edit inside Visla, which is here under this tab. If you want to know all the controls available directly through Visla, I recommend you check out this video using the info cards in the upper right hand corner. I'll show you step by step what you can do within Visla. It's very powerful. In a nutshell, what you can do is changing the B-roll being selected as well as the images. You can update the script. You can adjust the B-roll using this button. You can record additional footage. By the way, Visla natively comes with screen recording features as well as using your camera or webcam to record additional footage. You can record voiceover, generate AI voice or remove voiceover altogether. You can change the audio, you can apply text, you can scale the elements in the video, you can crop it, you can use key burns, you know, comments and info. I don't think those are as relevant. Again, there is so much control inside Visla. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.